Hey guys, I'm Tegan, I'm Sam, and we are Brick Twins. Welcome back to our channel. Today, guys, we're doing the Who Wore Better Challenge Fashion Hacks Edition. There's going to be three rounds, and it's up to you guys to decide who styled each fashion hack better. We all know fashion hacks online can seem so easy, and then you try it, and it just doesn't work. We're trying these, so you guys don't have to try them. Hopefully, they work. Before we get on with the video, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and give it a big thumbs up if, if you like it. it, and don't forget to click that grey bell so you guys are notified every time we post. Plus, follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we post on there every day. Alrighty, let's watch the first fashion hack. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. That actually looks so good. She looks so good in that and I'm loving those colours. It looks so much better than the original blazer. And that outfit is totally trending right now. I hope ours look that good. Let's go give this hack a go. We didn't want to ruin any of our blazer jackets that we have here already, so we decided to actually go shopping! So we went to the op shop and I found this jacket in the first store I walked in, which was so exciting because it was perfect. And this is the one I found. I was really happy when I found this. My eyes went to it straight away. Yas, queen, work. And it cost me like $12.50. This was only $10. What a bargain. Pretty good. Woo! I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to be too big and when I make it a cropped jacket and a skirt, it's not going to fit me as well as hers did. Thought I would try it on first and have a little look. I actually love this blazer jacket so much. Here's me realizing how nice this jacket is. So I guess the first step is marking where I have to cut it. All right, one last look at this beautiful blazer before I probably destroy it. I'm thinking about here, and then I hope that's enough to make a skirt. I'm pretty sure all you have to do is cut underneath the first button. Got my scissors. All right, scissors are in the hand, which means we're about to start cutting. Do I cut it while it's on me? So many questions. Am I going to measure it? Definitely not. Just gonna wing it. I'm gonna start cutting. It's always such a scary time. I decided to take my blazer off and chuck it on the floor so that I could finish cutting the other side because that was just going to be impossible. Wow, it actually worked. What the heck? Something like that. Let's try the skirt on. The skirt looks a little dodgy, but I'll fix that. I'll just fold it under, just like the girl did on the video. I can literally double the skirt over like a wrap skirt. The back of my skirt though was way too big. How am I gonna make that look good? So I tried pinning it, but that didn't work. I legit ended up tying it with a lackey band. So yeah, it looked dodgy from the back, but as long as I face the front, we'll be all good. Apparently that's what models do, so why not? As you guys saw, she just used the button to kind of like button it up and then tuck it in. That definitely does not match my outfit. So I just grabbed a black one because I'm totally wearing black shoes. So this is the top I decided to go with. Now wait until you see the shoes. They are so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love them so much. I'm really disappointed with the skirt. I'll kind of just like hide it maybe with the bag. I'm hoping Tegan doesn't wear these. I was tossing up between like the sock ones or the thigh high, but I've gone with the thigh high. I put on some red lipstick because I wanted to look sophisticated, like I was going to work or something. I also finished my look off with some dramatic studies. Alrighty guys, I am done. I'm excited to see what Tegan did. I'm really excited to see how Sam has gone with her blazer look. I hope it's not better than mine. Okay, let's go. Alright, are you? Oh, hi. Okay, I'm excited to see. Hey, don't touch. Ooh. Let's reveal to each other in three, two, two one. Oh my god! Holy. This looks so good. Holy moly, this looks amazing. In the shop, I was like, that's amazing material, but oh my god. I got gosh. so bougie head. And the shoulder pads, I love it. Mine's got shoulder pads too. Yeah, how cool are they? Yours? looks so good because it fits you so well. This skirt is like wrap, wrap, but wrap. it looks really good. It looks like it fits you really good. That's good. And the Gucci bag and the boots. Look at your shoes. Oh my gosh, I just noticed them. What's their hair? I forgot we had those. 
Yeah, I was like, her team is a win. Loving the red lippy as well to tie in the red. This fashion hack actually worked. Yeah, I mean, I believe it. obviously there's a few difficulties going on. Yeah, there. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Now it's up to you guys to decide who you think wore this fashion hack better. Number two. Wow, she started off with an oversized t-shirt. How did she turn that into a skirt? Like, who randomly was like, I'm gonna grab this belt and I'm just gonna put it through the sleeves, pull my top. Down. Like, random. This is gonna be very interesting and I look forward to seeing your t-shirt slash skirt thing. Bye! Oh, and let's put this bag away so my background is nice and clean. So the idea is to make a skirt. So I've got to pick from either a black skirt or a blue skirt. I'm excited to see if this hack actually works because to be honest, when I saw it, I wasn't really a fan of it and I didn't think it looked the greatest. So I'm kind of skeptical on this one. This one I thought was interesting because it kind of flares out at the bottom as you can see. So I thought maybe that could add some spice to my skirt. Starting off with this beautiful orange top and I deliberately chose it because it's a really nice material. It's not so t-shirt material if that makes sense. As soon as I saw it I was like thank you that is mine. So I'm actually gonna start off with the black one. And then of course I had to find a belt. So I got this belt. I thought it was pretty cool. I was thinking yeah maybe a black one or a gold one with sparkles would be cool. But then oh my gosh I found this bad boy. I can't believe how well it matches. So she literally just went something Oh yeah, it actually fits pretty good. Sorry, she literally just... She didn't struggle as much as me. So I just have to pull my t-shirt down and put it like a skirt, I guess. Then I grab my trusty belt and... I have no idea. Hold up. Put one end of the belt through the sleeve. It goes around the front, out the other sleeve, and then she like crossed it like that, and then I guess did the belt up in the back. Okay, so the belt goes through one sleeve all the way through to the other sleeve. Then I have to cross it at the front. What the heck is going on here? And then time to hide my sleeves away so I make it look more like a skirt rather than a top. She kind of just like tucked the sleeves in a bit like this. Have I done it? Alrighty, guys, I'm actually pretty impressed. The belt part worked. This doesn't look very good. Well, it's actually not looking too bad. Oh, gosh. I'm impressed. What the heck? It's not looking the greatest. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I should put a split down the middle. Nah, but then that's a risk. Maybe I shouldn't. Or should I? Uh, maybe I should put my top on first and go from there. Maybe I should try the blue. What is that? This doesn't look very good. I don't think I'd wear this out. Maybe I should watch the video again. Maybe I'm missing a step. Now it's time to choose a top. Obviously, I need a top that matches the same shade as my skirt. Otherwise, that's going to be a bit awkward. Just like this voiceover. So, I mean, I could cut this. This is kind of what it looks like. Now I've got to choose a top to pair it with. So give me a sec. Here are all the orange tops I found. Oh my gosh, look how cute this top is. It has a pink flower. Love that. All right. This one on I really liked. I was going to choose this one because I loved how the top complemented the skirt shape, but the colours didn't really match. It matches pretty well on screen, but off screen, in the mirror, I was like, oh no, they don't match. This is the top I've gone with. Don't judge just yet. I just realised I have an orange clip that will match perfectly with my outfit. While I was looking for this top, I found a matching blazer to my skirt. So I thought that this would jazz up my outfit. Kind of hides the, um, you know... The creation. I wanted to try this top and I'm glad I did because it matched so well. I love how it's strapless. It kind of adds to the Hawaiian look, even though it's not a Hawaiian look, but I've made it that now. It's all about the styling, so I'm hoping that this is going to give me an edge. I then tried these shell earrings, which are really cute. Now sunnies. Loved how the sunnies matched my outfit. I've got these sunnies. And then I ended up with these. I thought I would wear my docks with this outfit. I've decided to go with white thongs to add to the casual but fancy vibe. This is the bag that I was thinking of pairing this outfit with. I'm excited to see what Tegan's done. Bring it on, Tegan. Bring it on. Hawaiian party for one. No one else came. 
I honestly look like I'm going to uh, Hawaii. Okay guys, we are about to reveal our second fashion hat in three, two, one. one. Oh! Sam! Sam won this round, guys. What do you mean? You look so cool! Are you serious? I, yeah. I mean, I do like how it turned out. Like, I am happy with Literally, it. Literally, no one would know you're wearing a t-shirt right now. That's right! It's so cool! <laughs> Look at the yeah, See what? Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm shook! And I love how you've styled it, like oh, that top. Thanks. The belt, I mean, how did you get a belt that was the same colour as your t-shirt? As if that top matches this blazer that we already had. Yep. It's like the perfect match. Also, oh, I'm using it as like a cover-up because mine didn't turn out. Nah, it looks really good. What do you mean? The belt matches your top and your boots. Yep. And your sunnies and uh, we both did the flower clip. And the flip-flops as well. Like it's so giving me like Lizzie McGuire, Mary Kate and Ashley. Nice. Yeah, vibes, yeah, like you're going to a party back in the day. I am. Guys, now it's up to you to decide who you think styled the t-shirt slash skirt better. <laughs> about this one and I'm kind of scared to try it. Don't really know how this is going to go. It's going to be very interesting. And for round three, we have a visitor. Oh, Jolly! Hi! Okay, last hack. I can't believe this is even a fashion hack because this is just so weird and I'm not sure if it'll work, but I'm ready to give it a go. Somehow I've got to try and make a top out of a tote bag. It's such a cute colour. I'm pretty limited on my tote bags. I've got this purple one. Apparently I just cut a horizontal line here all the way across. So I've just kind of folded the bottom part. Something like this. You meant to wear it this way using both straps over each shoulder, but I'm like, maybe I should try a halter neck. But I can't get the strap over my head, so that's not an option. Let's just stick to what I've been shown on the hack. These become like the straps of the top. Okay, let's do this. All I need is confidence. Oh my gosh, this feels so tight. Like, this material is really tight. I don't know if I'll be able to get this on. Um, as I said, these straps are just, like, way too big. I've got these awkward seams here from the back, so I'm struggling a lot. I'm more excited about this colour, so let's cut this one up now. I got it on, but it was such a struggle. Like, I legit had to cut the back. So I won't be turning around in this outfit. And also, these straps are so long. Like, way too long. They just keep falling down. So I think I'm gonna have to cut them. I just pinned my straps at the back because they were way too long. Which is kind of cool because that means I can, like, tie them into cute bows. Let's do that then. Just leave it on the edge, cutting it straight away. Yeah, that looks about right. One. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Independent women don't need nobody. Struggles. Alright, bit weird, but also not too bad. Oh my gosh, this is so tight for me. This is actually cute. Wow. I can't believe this is a tote bag. It actually looks really good. Well, except for the back, of course. But no one's going to see that. I just won't turn around. I have to do the gathering and use an earring to hold the gather there, which will be interesting. I think I'm just going to use, like, this gold earring. So, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Something like that, and then I'm going to grab my earring, flip it in <laughs> like that. Spin it around. So all you see is like gold. That. This could be the next trend. Then I've got to fix like these parts here to make it look more not so badly cut. So I've decided to go for like a beachy look. So I've just added some white shorts. I'm going to pair it with my white thongs that have a bit of a platform to them. My pearl necklace with the gold touch in the center to match gold earring in the center of the top. Swapped out my orange clip for a white clip because I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear white shoes. Now I just have to figure out what I'm going to wear on the bottom. I'm going to see what skirts I have. I've got this pretty blue one. It's like a classic school skirt. All right, next I have this really pretty pink skirt. Wow, this pink actually matches so well to my top. Or should I say tote bag? Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Guys, I'm actually so shocked at how well this is coming together because for a minute there, I really was about to give up. Alrighty, sunnies. Maybe these pink ones. 
They're quite stylish. Or do I go with the white ones to match my necklace, my clip, and my shoes? Oh, and this bag. Yes, I like this bag. I'm gonna change my clip up to a white one. Well, I might actually do half up, half down for this look. Sunny's on. I'm totally meant to clip together my top, but I feel like that's gonna be a struggle because this material is so hard. Like it doesn't really move and I don't even know if a pin would go through it. Hopefully that doesn't matter. I wonder how Tegan's going with that. And last but not least, found these pink earrings which totally match my top. They're quite pretty. Brownie points for changing my earrings. I grabbed these tennis shoes out and I was like, nah. Instead, I think I'm going with the white Converse. Okay, I'm ready to show Sam my final look. with the shells. It's a very beachy mermaid vibe. I love the sunnies. Thanks. I love the bag. Um, the converse. This blue skirt. Really cool. Okay, yeah. guys. Now it's up to you to decide who styled pack three. very interesting so i'm excited to read all of your comments we really hope you enjoyed this challenge today thanks guys for watching remember guys we post every single week so we'll see you guys next week